Welcome back to the Writer's Room. In celebration of Halloween Redux, we are talking about all the SoCal haunts. All of them. All of them. Scary shit, including ticket prices. Yeah. That's the horror. That's the most terrifying part. Please send money to our show. (laughs) Help us. Welcome back to the Writer's Room. We are here in our spooky Halloween Redux studio. And in honor of the season, we're talking about all of the scariest haunts in SoCal today here on the show. That's right. It's a rite of Halloween passage. Yeah, every year we do it. And this is the first time you get to see us talking about some of the scary things, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, uh, let's begin. I'm your host, Katie. I'm Michael. I'm Matt. And I'm Chris Allen. We're coming at you from HollywoodRedux.com. And we are celebrating Halloween Redux all month long with lots of giveaways. You can check the link in the description below for how you can enter to win some of our cool prizes. Blu-rays, t-shirts, Mr. all Robot sorts t-shirt. of stuff. Mr. Robot you t-shirts. You want this Mr. Robot and t-shirt. And a Mr. Robot at the very mask. Least. Oh yeah, and an F Society, Society mask. mask. So. so anyway, check the link in the description for how you can enter to win some of these cool prizes. We've already got hundreds of entries, so please get in there now. The uh, it ends on the 28th. It ends on the 28th. Ends on Correct. the 28th of October, so be sure to enter and uh, Get some cool stuff. Do it, guys. We'll be Do announcing it. winners on the 31st uh, episode of The Writer's Yeah, Show. on our Halloween episode, Yay! which we promise to be in full costume and look as ridiculous as we can, except I think... No way, Kate, I want to be cool. Katie's going to be cool. That's what I was just about to say. Uh, <laughs> she's the one, she's that one person who shows up to the to the party as the crow every year, because the crow is, you know, sleek and hot, so... You joke, oh but the crow God. costume is so cool. You get to do, like, the makeup... It's that's a good valid Case point. point. I've uh, never actually been the crow, but I feel thanks, like guys. that would be a good Halloween. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a suggestion. Yeah, yeah, you would be crow. It would be uh, pretty but cool. But check yeah. out our ridiculous Halloween costumes or cool Halloween costumes <laughs> on Halloween. <laughs> we're gonna be bringing you a very Day special first. episode where we're also gonna announce the winners of said giveaway. So, again, check the link in the description. See how you can win some fun stuff. That's right. But right now we're talking about SoCal haunts. Woo. Yeah. Some uh, long lines. Some very some long lines. lines. <laughs> very expensive events in SoCal. Oh, that. Um, <laughs> that's my biggest gripe overall. So uh, the ones that we did go to uh, as a group were Halloween Horror Nights and mm-hmm. uh, Reign of Terror and Thousand Oaks. Yeah, that's right. Um, and, uh, well, let's just jump it off with Halloween Horror Nights. Um, yeah. Halloween Horror Nights is pretty exciting this year. They got a lot of good titles. Um, but, mm. again, it's not worth the money. No, um, it's really expensive. Unfortunately, you know, if you can go on one of the off And Harry Potter's nights, not even open. Sorry no. to interrupt, but Harry yeah. Potter's closed. Harry Potter is closed. That's another ride. That's like one of your biggest attractions you just opened. Just and you're going to keep it closed. Um, but that's beside the point. We're talking about Sorry. the haunts tonight. <laughs> Take that, guest services. <laughs> um, no, just that it's not quite wor- worth the ticket price. It's right. not. Because Harry's mean, not yeah. even open. And like, that's what we thought we were going to get. We thought we were going to get to go on, you know, uh, Harry Potter. Yep. But we didn't. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people were thinking the same thing. Probably. Uh, you know, the longest line uh, for Halloween Horror Nights was American Horror Story. God. And we got into it at the worst time. So, first of all... The one thing that Halloween Horror Nights did do amazing this year is they have an app. And it's like Halloween, it's like hhnwaittimes.com or something. Yeah. And it allows you in like, it's like almost every three minutes it reloads with really accurate times. So like Mm -hmm. we were able to kind of move around the park and try to avoid some of these lines. We thought we were doing that with American Horror Story because it was like (laughs) 90 minutes. And we're like, okay, well, it's just going up. It's not going to go down. We're already on the back lot. We walked all the way down there, which there has to be a better way to get people down there. Yeah. But we walked all the way down there, and we're like, we're not going to come back. So <laughs> this is let's the last do this. Down here. Let's do this maze. Which uh, was the worst mistake we could have done. Yeah, because it ended up taking about two hours and 20 minutes before we got into the maze. Mm-hmm. We watched the same loop that they had in the queue line on one screen. Uh yeah. To keep everybody entertained for two hours, probably about 20 times. And um, the house was nowhere near worth it. No. Um, no. Sorry. It was really well designed, but maybe we were just getting it in one of those, uh, like, kind of shift changes. Because I feel like half of the rooms didn't have anybody in them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well see, that's scarce. the thing throughout all the mazes there. Like, you get these great set designs mm-hmm. with no scares. So you're telling me I'm paying... How much just to see a set design? Yeah, yeah. And, like, and that's the other thing too with that is they've got these really great sets and they're really detailed and they look good. Like the design mm-hmm. team always does a great yeah, job of Halloween absolutely. Horror Nights. But like the execution of like this is a how I want to get scared. This yeah. is called a haunted house. This is supposed to scare me. 
and you have these great sets where you walk through and it's just a show scene happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, well, somebody's getting eaten and every once in a while they kind of go like, ugh, like out at you. Lunging at me. But like, and, and then you just go into three hallways that are exact same in every single haunted house yeah. at Halloween Horror Nights, which is a black hallway, something drooping, and just a hole cut out of the wall where somebody just hits a strobe light and a loud noise in front of you. It's always just coming at you. Yeah. It's like, and like, like barely from the sides. And when it is, you can see it a mile away because it's the same in every house. Yeah. 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 It, it, like the only house that we went through that I felt was like designed from top to bottom was the Exorcist house. Yeah. Not that I'm biased, but that was probably the best <laughs> house there. Yeah. And it's because they had maybe two black hallways with people popping out. It was it was a good scene too. Like actually those are the scenes that I liked. Seeing uh her head spinning around. Yeah. She's spinning saying, around spitting water out of her body. <laughs> <laughs> smell like shit in there too. It was it's did. terrible yeah. smell. Ugh. Little uh, pea soup scene. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's great. But that was the most fun for sure, and the most mm. memorable out of all yeah. of them, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, the levitation room. Yeah, yeah they, had some, they had some great like animatronic stuff in there, which I don't feel like I've seen very much. Uh right. You know, at Halloween Horror Nights. That's so the most we saw. You see it at Knots yeah, all exactly. the time. Rain like, of Terror you, has a lot of games. Yeah, yeah, Rain of Terror. Rain of but, terror, like, yeah. you, you get, like, usually at Halloween Horror Nights, the robotics you get are something that's a body on, like, a little thing that they're just wiggling mm -hmm. and spraying water, uh -huh. which is, again, the same exact scare, which is just a strobe light, a loud noise, and something. Puppet. You know, it's it's very uncreative in a sense of how they try to scare you. Very creative in the set design, but, like, how they try to scare you becomes so redundant. And, like, <laughs> I liked what they did with, like, the Purge walkthrough, like, area yeah. in the upper lot That's but at the same time i feel like that again was all you needed from the purge yeah. and yeah. i feel like there was so much real estate there that you could have probably built another haunted house in that space yeah like ease the lines of like the there was usually park. a haunted house there mm -hmm. like they've had haunted houses there every year mm -hmm. you should have built a haunted house there this year yeah. and gotten your lines down a little bit it felt very phoned in this year i felt like but you could you could clearly scares. see that one of the haunted houses was like a completely redressed version of Krampus. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Krampus was literally the Nightmare on Elm Street house, like room for room almost. <laughs> yeah, sad. And because uh, I remember walking through it, and I was just like, "Wait a second, this is un can like this is like super familiar." And then all of a sudden, it was like, "Oh yeah, clearly." But Krampus was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, that was a fun one. I would say that was the second best house we did. Yeah, yeah actually. What about you, Katie? What did you like about Halloween Horror Nights? Uh, well, you know, I'm not a native horror fan. I'm a, a relatively new horror fan since uh -huh. I well, married you, frankly. Um, so I, uh, I don't. I, this Whether is like you a, like it or not, I'm going to scare you as much as I can. <laughs> well, this is a, a new life experience for me. Has been the last few years going to these haunts and Halloween Horror Nights is kind of like the chief, the king of all because it's the most yeah, expensive yeah. and like the you know Universal's <laughs> yeah. biggest park and all that. Yeah, I mean they kind of created the movie monsters in the states. You know, Universal's classic the monsters. Classic they horror. started it, so yeah. Yeah. you would expect them to live up to the fucking experience. kill it. Yeah. Well, Thank you for and that the first one. first year we went, first couple of years we went i remember it actually being much scarier yeah. than it is yeah. now i do feel that it has gone down in the quality of the actors the number of actors mm -hmm. the scares uh, creativity behind the ideas mm -hmm. behind the houses there I, there used to be la llorona which was an original oh yeah. my god house that was the best one based there. on a folk story that was terrifying and terrifying. even though it was kind of Don't the same has yeah it was well the facade was this really old missionary house that was really that was really cool theme. because it also like shaped a face and stuff like, it, was it was a really beautiful neat. house it was a piece of art yeah. that house that was and it was very one. scary too there were dead horses and yeah. Dead yeah. children dead children and floating and in the river the and monsters it was it was a Mijos. very scary house it was completely creative and original and it was a big hit with fans with yeah. fans of the show yeah. of the park and I loved it it was probably my favorite and it's been gone the last couple of years and in its place have been a slew of uh, branded property houses like Krampus or like Nightmare on Elm Street yeah. or The Exorcist or anything yeah. like that yeah. Halloween and I just have to say I don't think they're as good I think the original houses are better and I yeah. would like for more of those well I think that's why back. we enjoy Knots too yeah. you know and oh like, yeah or uh, Reign of Terror. Or Reign of Terror. Oh, Reign of Terror. Terror. <laughs> which I loved Reign of Terror because Reign of Terror offers that, like, original scary that. things so that you walk through and you're completely new to, and that is part of why it's so scary. Mm -hmm. And you know what? you're not familiar. The, you buy, okay. you buy, you buy, <laughs> you buy block tickets for Reign of Terror, yeah. so, like, you go at certain times, and that cuts down on the lines. Now, yeah. obviously, you can't do that at a big theme park like Knott's or Halloween Horror Nights, mm -hmm. um, but they know the the effect waiting in line for two hours does to the energy of your guests. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, but like Reign of Terror, it doesn't really necessarily change too much throughout the year because mm-hmm. it's kind of the same, you know, flow and, and everything. Right. But there's a lot more energy that goes into it. Ooh. Yeah. Even though we've done it twice now, I still get scared all every the time. Every time. Every, every corner is every scared. Time. Every oh hallway God. has a scare. There's and they no space it out. Space. Yeah. yeah. They, it's just a, definitely a more of a haunted house experience as opposed to I'm walking through a movie. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm walking through a movie set, and then in between sets, people on. just hit me with a strobe and come out in front of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. talk about commitment. Those guys are always like yeah. just. I don't ready. think there's a scare just like I don't think there's a scare like that at Reign of Terror. I think yeah. everything's much like, scarier. Yeah, much scarier. And Turn the production over. value is great. Well, and I you know what? Know. The ticket price worth 30 it. Thirty bucks if yeah. you go with the VIP ticket. Twenty four. If you just go for the basic ticket. And, like, VIP, you're waiting for 20 or 30 minutes. That's Probably the big one, you're w- waiting for about an hour, hour and, and a half. And the walkthrough yeah. is, like, a 30-minute walkthrough or a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, it's a very it's a long, long attraction. Yeah. Yeah. Great. It's so worth it. you get it. lost in it. It's it's long enough that you get lost, mm-hmm. and you're just, just free like, parking. living in the present, like, experiencing yeah. these scares coming at you. You totally forget your problems. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 In the moment. Yeah, you do. So it's awesome. It's we love you, Reign of well Terror. Worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Please yeah. send us tickets next year. We love you. Or love this year. Be. There's still time. Yeah, we, we go again. Time, we'll come back. We love your attractions. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you get smaller attractions and yeah, it's just one attraction. So yes, they are able to focus more mm-hmm. on you know, training the employees and things like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. But then again, that's like a local haunt. That's somebody like putting to- this together, renting yeah. the space, building the sets, mm-hmm. training their actors. Yep. And you know what? Universal and Knots and all these bigger attractions, including Queen Mary, yeah. which we'll touch on in a second. Yeah. But like these big attractions have hundreds of employees mm-hmm. yeah. that can easily be training these people how to scare, how to do well. Yeah. You know, each house does have a stage manager and assistant stage manager. They need to be better. They need yeah. to make sure that their people are going at it and going yeah. after the scares and not just phoning it in because you're representing something bigger than just your little haunted house. Yeah. You're representing the company that brought horror to the United States that started the monster movie in the U.S. Yeah. That, like is a home for horror and it's it's a shame you know that like universal you know kind of is phoning it in now or they're spending all their money on their properties and they just have to kind of whip it together yeah and then you have you know something like reign of terror that's super cheap it's original lo- you know it's fun it's fun there's good scares i mean there's people coming out of the ceiling oh my god oh, you know there's hands. people coming underneath <laughs> beds at your feet Messed you know up. like it's not just the same scare and they're yeah. positioned in sets to where you don't see where the boo door is oh, no. every time. <laughs> no. You just get scared, and, and it's they, really great. They don't pop out with a strobe either. They pop out of the darkness. Yeah, and they and pop out. They either better. have a can or it's just their hands. And a lot of them, like, <laughs> God bless you, because <laughs> a lot of them are just screaming. Yeah. And I don't know how they can maintain right. that. Just, Wah! like, I mean, like, whoa. We love you, Rain and Terror. Yeah. yeah love that's you. great. Yeah. How is Dark Harbor? Oh, Dark Harbor. Well, okay. So they actually had, like, six mazes this year, and uh-huh. I don't remember how many... I feel like it's out? usually about five amount, or six. Right? Yeah. So the lines weren't that bad. It was like a 60 minute, the most I had to wait. But it seemed like once the midnight mark happened, everything else was clear. Like I was actually able to hit all the mazes this year. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, That's good. So That's nice. I completed Dark Harbor for the first time, which was great. That makes That's it sweet. more fun. Thank you. you thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Golf clap. Yeah. Well, thank you. Golf that clap. makes it more fun. Last year we had a bad experience because we, it was couldn't, way do, too bad. we couldn't do everything we wanted to do. So and like yeah. it, it seemed like it was going to be like that this year, but I don't yeah. know what happened. Maybe I went on a good night or just got really lucky, but uh-huh. being able to complete everything, I had a lot more fun at Dark Harbor than at Universal. And they're yeah. also, Truth like, a lot smaller, you know, so, yeah. like... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, there's still a lot of other SoCal haunts that we have yet to hit, which we'll probably touch on in our Halloween episode. Yeah. But, like, we're still going to go check out the Haunted Hayride and, at the uh, Griffith Park. Mm-hmm. And Sinister Point? The Griffith Park. The uh, Sinister <laughs> Point, yeah, that's going to yes. be great. I, I also want to kind of do the 19th door or whatever it is, the... Uh, I'd love oh, to yeah, see The that. Christian one. The <laughs> I've heard good stuff. Yeah, because I've heard it's genuinely horrifying. That'd be no. great. It's all it's all uh, different scenes of hell. Yeah, the <laughs> abortions, <laughs> abortions and yeah. all this stuff. <laughs> and, Simple things. Uh, you know, the... The stuff you like at the holidays. <laughs> yeah, and I can highly recommend Escape Room: The Basement. That's oh yeah, nice. it's a really, it's really good, scary interactive experience. That's uh, you have to solve a puzzle to escape the room if you're not familiar with the room, uh, you know, event. And what is Ooh. and what's like? I know it's a horror theme in the basement, but what's kind of the setup for that? It's you are going into a serial killer's uh, home, and uh, you're like. Uh, 
stuck in this room and you have to escape from the serial killer's room or else you get <laughs> All murdered. Right. I'm or else you get murdered. And Fine. but but uh, you know no no spoilers but there are other people in there. Oh. <laughs> no spoilers. Yeah. It's like, well, it's like people helping you solve it or yeah, are there, there are, like actors in there too. There are actors. It's it's a scary it's a scary experience. Oh, that's like cool. it's you're not just in there like you know looking for clues like you are. It's also a Halloween like scary experience. Well, that's pretty it's, rad. It's year round I think, but it uh, it's a it's a great time to go. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. There's still plenty awesome. of things to do you guys. It's really fun. <laughs> Well, hell yeah. Well, we had a great time checking out some of these SoCal haunts. We're, like we said, we're going to check out some more here soon. But let us know if you've checked out any of the ones we've seen, if you felt the same way, or if you disagree completely with what we had to say. Uh, we'd love to yeah. hear from you. Uh, for Hollywood Redux and Halloween Redux, I am your host, Matt. You can follow me at Splashdown1. I'm Chrysalia. You can find me at Chrysalia and all social medias. I'm Katie. I'm at Kimmel's. I'm Michael, and I'm at What the Hess. And as always, we are coming to you from HollywoodRedux.com. Be sure to subscribe below to our YouTube page, uh -huh. like, comment, uh -huh. and share uh -huh. as much as you'd like to, uh, and check out the description below so you can see how you can win some of these cool prizes. Yeah. That's right. We are going to announce all the winners on Halloween, and we'll be contacting you guys directly, and we can't thank you enough for coming back every week uh, and enjoying thank our you guys show. And I so, just wanna, so I just want to add, use the hashtag Halloween Redux with cool costumes and uh, Halloween memes, like anything. Uh -huh. like yeah. we, We're excited. Sure. We love Halloween. We're trying to share the love. We're if you love up. Halloween, do it's it. It's the best yeah. Do it to it. Tag us in any of your posts and use the hashtag to uh, have us see all your stuff, man. We're really excited for Halloween. Hope you guys are too. Hope you guys are enjoying Halloween Redux so far. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye.